cutting them off. Now, it's, I find it's really important to discuss this type of content on my channel. I am a firm believer in the fact that you need to learn when to cut off someone toxic in your life. Now, this can be in a relationship, a friendship, or an online community. You can, there's various different factors that you need to look at when you guys decide how to cut someone off. I think it's super hard to do it. I will, I will say I've not always handled it the best, um, but cutting off toxic people is a really essential thing that you guys must do in your life. If you guys keep those people that you think are your friends, but realistically really aren't or don't have your back and are disingenuous to you on how they are as a person, you guys can usually pick up, there's various different signs that you guys can pick up on to be able to determine that they are fake friends and you guys can use this to your advantage so the first one i'm going to talk about is basically you guys can tell when they are using you for clout now i've actually had this happen to my channel despite being a relatively small channel um i have actually had friendships that have actually been reliant on my clout and the minute that they weren't satisfied or they weren't getting what they wanted then they were they cut me off because they didn't like that i was committed to my youtube channel and or they didn't like that my community was supporting the me difference between having a toxic dash bad friend or relationship and someone who isn't afraid to be honest with you i think that there is a very huge difference that a lot of people don't care to realize and then they 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 often go ahead and just assume things before they even know the full story. Um, but basically, you guys have ex been told these stories numerous times of me dealing with various toxic people in my life. Um, I had a friend who used to actually only be around me because he wanted to try and get a platform off of me. Um, considering at the time I was only a 1K plus channel, so it was kind of it was kind of weird. Because these people were really disingenuous. Um, obviously, you've got to bring something to the table in a friendship. I believe in everyone having to bring something to the table in a friendship. Because otherwise, what's the point of your friendship if you're the one doing all the legwork while they're just sitting there being comforted by the fact that they're your friend, you know? Even if they don't deserve it. Because there's a lot of people in this world, guys, that do not deserve your friendship just because you have one thing in common with them. I think, I think a lot of people have this misconception that you have to just be open to being friends with every single person that you meet in your life. Even if they might not necessarily be the right friend for you, but they like one thing that you like, or they have some quote-unquote dirt on you that they can use to get you to easily just like be their friend. And I think, I think, I think a lot of people are often, when it comes to friendships in general, I think a lot of people don't actually realise um how to navigate not speaking to people and i do think it's really important to learn to be content with yourself and not necessarily need other people for your own validation because if you own if you rely on other people guys to, to, for your own validation then i'm just going to be real with you it, it it does it ends up being way easier for that person to manipulate you and i do think it's very important that you guys do kind of develop, learn how to have a little bit of thick skin now i know not everyone is going to be able to have thick skin on the internet or in life in general um but there is always coping mechanisms that you guys can do and there is ways that you guys can put some barriers up whilst also still being relatively open to making friends with people as you get older guys it does get really really hard for you guys to want to make new friends now, you know there is various ways that you guys can determine a fake friend as i was saying earlier but I think another one that's really important to mention in this in this context, I think it's really important to mention that there are people who will who will cut you off just for being yourself, like seriously. And I, I think I think it's really important, especially nowadays. Jesus, okay. Um, as as the world is constantly adapting and evolving and changing, that we are able to easily understand 
that not everyone is gonna like us. Like, I think, I think a lot of people forget this common thing. Like, they might not even be that they are a fake friend. They might just not like you or do not gel with you. And, and that can be very easily determined, right? I personally struggle to get on with a lot of people. And if you guys have watched me for a while, you guys will notice it's important to have a, a good level of like self restraint when it comes to being open to people. You got you should have some privacy, which I am going to talk about in a whole other video. I think privacy is a huge thing that is very much lost in a lot of people's lives nowadays. And I think that a certain level of privacy, especially in life in general, I think it's really important to have. I know a lot of people love to post their lives on social media. Um, but I do think privacy is important, but that is going to be saved for a separate video. Um, but I do think hard times also can could attribute to you feeling trapped in a friendship, which I did make a previous video on if you guys are interested. Um, it, I think, I think a lot of different attributes are, um, a factor when it comes to just getting through a toxic friendship or a toxic relationship. I, I haven't even covered that side of it. Um, there are there are toxic relationships, guys. Um, on on both sides of the coin, right? Like on the fact that they aren't a good friend for you, it's really important. Like I don't think I don't think as as someone who's dealt with a lot of toxic friendships, specifically online and IRL. I know, I know, shocking. Sorry. Basically, uh, how how life goes, guys, is. Like, if people like you, they will stick around you. The minute people don't like you, they will cut you off. That's that's basically what I want to say on that. I do hope that you guys are able to develop a thick skin and not share everything with um, a person that you literally meet <laughs> within the first five seconds. You should be getting to know them over time and gradually developing and building that friendship to allowing you to obviously get into a position where you're willing to be open with them a little bit more. But definitely don't share everything, because I, as I do say, privacy is paramount. Especially in this growing age where everyone feels the need to share their lives on the internet. I think like, it's very important um, that you guys are aware of all these different factors that can contribute to someone not necessarily being a very genuine dash real person to you. And I do think, I do think a lot of people also, I do want to mention that during, like, during periods of my time on the internet, I have encountered people that have cut me off purely because they do not like my friends. Now, this is another major red flag. In my personal opinion, if you are disrespecting someone and their time best just because, guys, just because they are friends with people that you do not, they do not like, that is toxic, that is unhealthy, and that shouldn't be down to that person to decide. They should be letting you, as the person in those friendships, decide for yourself how you feel about those friendships and how you feel about them, not how they feel about them. Because a lot of people also do this, where they they, they make out that they, they don't like that you're friends with this person or that person, but those people have been nothing but genuine and real with you, that these other people who claim, who claim they are so much more superior in every way, are worse. And and you don't realize it. Sometimes it does take you to after the fact to realize that there are a lot of things that you guys discussed or something that happened in your conversations or in, in the interactions that you've had in any kind of way um, that could have been a red flag, but you guys just didn't notice it. Like, and this can be very much applied to relationships too. I'm just applying it in a friendship concept because I think, I think, I think a lot more people, um, can honestly relate to friendship because not all of you have been in relationships, right? So I can't necessarily, I'm not going to dive into love life on the internet, um, because privacy is important. Um, but I think, I think what's really important to evaluate when you're looking out for these toxic friends or toxic people in your life. Um, I think it's really important that you just do not, do not let them decide who you become. But like, I think you also need to look at that as a contributing factor when you guys are looking out for these fake friends or fake people or people that are just genuinely toxic towards you. Because I think toxicity and bad friendships 
can lead you down a very mind fucking path. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you guys do not know how to handle it and build a resilience towards it, it ment it does mentally mess with your life and it does get you to the point where you're just questioning what the hell am I doing? I keep getting myself into these situations. But the more you deal with it, the easier it becomes to learn from, I think. 